口の中に勝手に入るやつはクラー Hello and today I've got some a little more special. I've got this very cool Pokemon Sun and Moon tin. And within it you get five Pokemon booster packs, three foil um what would it be called? Promo cards, three foil promo cards, a mini album, a Pokemon notepad and four pencil sets. And a code for obviously the online stuff. There's the back. I just want to say this is also really good value for money、uh, because I pay £20 for this, and within it you get five booster packs. And normally, when you go into most shops, they do booster packs for between three and four pounds. So you're looking at about £20 for six booster packs. And so in this, you essentially Pay £20 and get five booster packs as well as the tin and all the goodies inside. So, actually, monetary wise, it's quite good value. So, I'm gonna open it with the camera facing me, then I'm gonna swivel it around so we can see the booster packs. Get my m e t a l knife in there. As you can see, it's quite sturdy tin. It's not Flimsy, although I can imagine after a while it's walking a bit. Ta da! So inside we have. Oh, I can't see the camera. Look at it. Four promo cards. I believe these are the same ones I got with the、um, Alone box I opened a few episodes back. But I'll have to double check with that. I'm not entirely sure. We do get a very cool coin, if you can see that. Just keep on opening it. And here you can see we have. Can't get them out. We have a booster p a c k So t one, two, five. There we have it. Our four pencils. And our sticker sheets. We've also the stickers of the Pokemon on the tin. If I can get out. Notepad, very simple notepad it comes with. That's it. And of course, a little mini folder. So I will flip the camera around and we will open it. So, yeah, as you can see, just lying everything out here,、um, you do get an awful lot of stuff for essentially the price of six Pokemon booster packs. And bear in mind, we've got five Pokemon booster packs here, so it's、um, essentially the price of one booster pack for all this stuff. Also, including the tin, which I believe is the correct depth to store cards. Put right here. It looks a little bit too shallow for cars to fit in there nicely. I don't really like laying them down because it was a little bit deeper actually. We have two rows of boosters. But it looks like a bit shallow, but it's kind of more just for a pin to they store your bits and pieces in rather than necessarily specifically for Pokemon cards, which is a shame. I would have liked it a bit deeper. Still, for the money, it's certainly a good buy. Newsflash, guys, they do indeed fit into the tin, as I will demonstrate.
Let's have a little closer look at the um, promo cards we get with it. Again, I'm not 100% sure if we have already got these ones or not, because remember I opened the um, Alolan box again with the big Giants, Giant GX card, and it came with promo versions of the starter Pokemon. I do not know if these are the same. They are labelled promo, as you can see. Um, I'll have to double check for you. But anyway, on to the main events. We have one, two, three, five boosters. They're all from different series. We actually only have two Sun, Sun and Moon ones. We have two Steam Siege, which is a nice series. I like them anyway, so that's alright. And of course, Fates Collide, so you get a real mixed bag of cards in here. Um, what should we start with? Let's start with the uh, Fates Collab a little bit more. Back in card off. What? Cotine? Burmy, Burmy. A nice snuggle card there. Bronzor. Minicon, a very nice <coughs> very nice reverse hollow devolution spray. Let's just get a drink. And I'm gonna get a drink this time so my horse <coughs> my voice can get too hoarse. Uh, Mr. Mine. That'll focus there, I'll apologize. There we go. Random receiver. A woman, 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 then whatever. Got that. Old amber aerodactyl. Uh, look at the bottom seven cards in your deck. You reveal aerodactyl file there and put it onto your bench. Very nice. Because I always find fossil Pokemon a bit of a hassle to get out onto the playing field, so that'd be a nice card. Although I don't think I have an aerodactyl. Never mind. Um, Steam Siege. We've got a nice golden Yvelta. Is Yvelta? No, Yvelta's the other one. This X. XC guy. Excelsior. So I'll open this one first, I suppose. Is it Gardevoir? Is that Gardevoir? I think it is. Anyway. Ooh. Let's slip that. An Eagle Eye Vulture. Flauncher. C dots. I've got so many C dots. A nose pass. A Litleo. A Dinon Den Denio? Denio? Whatever. Wow, a very nice. <laughs> mixed. Is one? Yeah, yeah, Steam Seed was the one. Is it, is it Steam Seed or is there another series that does these mixed types? I haven't seen a mixed type reverse hollow. So that is something special. A Yamiga? Yamiga? An Apimon? Uh, a Halucha and a Tangle Growth. Actually, that Halucha art looks very nice. Hopefully, we'll get any X in these one of these boosts. Um, Excelsior, go on Excelsior in the front. A fungus, a monkey, a kink, a mantine, a shellios, a bird, a reverse hollow bird mite there, very nice. Oh, Agulua, Agul. Is he the lover, lover guy there? I think he is. Sweet, got a nice evolutions there. A uh, clang. Uh, bravery. And an armor fossil shell. It seems like they've changed the rules of how fossils work then. So it's just about playing these, finding these, rather than sort of putting them as poker dolls. I think they originally sort of behaved like they had like 40 HP. If we can get on an evolution out in time, then all the better. 
but now they're just item cards when you search for them in the deck, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, moving on to the last two. Sun and Moon, hopefully we'll get any X. I do not know. There's one way to find out. Right, a Sandile, Dark Sandile. Very nice. Let's make a little pile for up here. Uh, Snubble. Fero. Very, very cool artwork on that one. Uh, Grubbin. A Spiro. A Reverse Hollow Poplio. We can actually have a little compare with the promo one. So it looks like the snow is different artwork, completely different. I'm going to say it's the same pose with a different background, but now they are completely different cards. Trying to get the glare and the camera in. Anyway, next one, Parasect. Uh, Leaf Energy. Poison Bar. If this card, po if this Pokemon, this... If the Pokemon this card is attached, use your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if the Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now poisoned. There you go. A Torcat. And of course, the good old fashioned potion. Hasn't changed. I don't think it's changed at all, the heal, which is odd. Because I've pretty much seen from the beginning series the Pokemon getting progressively more health. So you'd think the potions would scale, but they haven't. Still 30 damage. Anyway, last one. Solgaleon or Solgaleon, or however you people say them. I don't know the same. I'm always a Solgaleon. is how I think it is. But then people say Solgaleon and all this weirdness. But anyway, pick, picky peck. Another Dark Sandile. Another Snubble, <laughs> another Pharaoh, another Grubbin, Jesus Christ, Hinder, <laughs> Herdia, Herda, whatever, that guy, Reverse Hollow, very nice, a Crobbomable, Crobbomable, that one, 140 health, nice. Four star retreat cost, but he would expect it with a card of that power. Very nice steel energy. Ooh, a rainbow energy. Always useful. Uh, char. Char Jim Bug. A little one that looks like a bus. Uh, and the Rotom decks. After counting your prize cards, shuffle them into your deck, then take as many cards from the top of your deck and put them face down as your prize cards. So just reshuffle your prize cards, basically. Um, that was disappointing. We didn't get any any particular interesting EXs or even regular hollows. We didn't really get. We got a few reverse hollows, but I think that good. What would we say was the highlight? The devolution sprays are very cool. And we got a shiny of those. Let's flip through our shiny hall. Reverse Hollow Poplio. Sorry, I'm off camera today. And reverse Hollow that dude. But it's the Bishop, I think, is the nicest card. But again, all Reverse Hollow. You've actually got a proper Hollow card. <sighs> Which is disappointing, but hey, oh, we've got a new tin. Oh, I've got a new tin. A cool little packet of Poplio. There's our shiny hole, and of course we've got some nice stickers. So I hope you enjoyed watching me open that. If you want to watch more, then I have more videos. But if you don't want to watch more, then go do something with your life. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, boy, gonna stick them up. Sweet ass deck boxes up. Fuck you.
ultrapro.com. I'm gonna have a fucking soul. Soul Galileon guy in the back. Take that ultra pro. It's pretty badass. Should we have a litter on the back here? I think we shall. If he'll fit. 